So Joe was having my birth upstairs. Why didn't you wait for me in my room? Yeah. Wait for you in your room. In my room? You're having your bath. So? Come into your room when you're having your bath. You get grumpy when you have something to say. So. Joe. Yes. Obviously, you were scared I was going to touch you. That was why you didn't want to come upstairs. Hi. Angela, we've been in this relationship for two years. Engaged for six months. Angel, for one day, you never allowed me access to your body. Why? Damien, I really don't know what we're talking about this right now. At this point in our relationship, what is going on, Damien? Damien, please. We have talked about this over and over. Damien, you know my principles. So why are we talking about this right now? Why? Angela, listen to me. I have to tell you this now and clear. See, I'm, 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 so, I'm, I'm tired of this, your so-called principle. I am tired of this, your born again stuff. It's high time you changed this, your principle. Ah! Excuse me. Damien. So it is my born again stuff now, eh? You're no more a Christian, right? Damien, we have dated for two years. We've been engaged for six months. You have held on this long. Why spoil it now, Damien? Just hold on a little bit longer, at least until we get married. Yes, sure. We're going to get married someday. Someday? Good. Yes. But as I speak to you, my business is not doing well. Obviously, I have to allow it to improve. We'll get married someday. So? Someday, surely, we'll get married. Someday. That doesn't mean you have to keep me waiting for this long. I mean, who not be? Damien, why don't you just go and pay my bright price? If you pay my buy price, at least we'll be married traditionally. Why don't you just go and pay it? Angel, please. Can we go upstairs? Go upstairs for what? To my room. Go and do what in your room? I'm definitely not in this state you are. You know what, um, Damien, I'll just go home, you know. I don't think you want to see me today. When you calm down, I'll come back. Hey. Hey, Joe. Where do you think you're going to? What are you doing? Let go of my shirt. Where are you going to? I'm going home, of course. Let go of my shirt. Is it how we go up there? Or we have it here? Have what here? Damien, let go of my shirt right now. Let go of my shirt! What's wrong with that? Are you drunk? Uh oh. I'm gonna find out if I'm drunk. Oh my god!
Um, what's your program like? Um, I'll be going for my community development and then by four I should be there. Good. I'll be taking Auntie to the airport. You know she's traveling. Okay. And later in the day the car will be going for servicing. Alright. I want you to come and pick me up after close of work today. Hmm? Okay. Good. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget my advice to you. Be a good boy. <laughs> Auntie, I'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sick, Jenny. Yeah? Okay, thank you. All right. Three times from you. Okay. to you. You cannot change the world. You can only manage it. It's high time you got flexible on your principles. I will not change my principles. My mind is already made up. Angel, I mean, is it not funny to hear that your fiance attempted raping you? Listen, it's very difficult for a full-grown man to adapt to being celibate. I mean, when he's not a priest, it's difficult. There are a lot of principled men out there. I know. It is just sad that I have not been fortunate to come across any. But in due season, I am sure that I will meet somebody. It's okay. Okay? It's okay. The Lord is my strength. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff. You guys have a very wonderful place here. 
Your brother must be very successful. Yeah, I wish he knew. Why? Oh, come on, I mean, man is so simple to a fault. I mean, with regards to his dressing, he's so simple, man. You no, know, very humble, but you see that man? He can be so difficult at times. Difficult? More difficult than Harry? Okay, now that is serious. No, no, there's nobody worse. That's Albert, my brother. Trust me. Wow. Tell you, tell you. Hey, back to what we were discussing, you know, in the car before me, my brother. Which one? Are you trying to tell me you don't have a boyfriend still? Harry, I had a fiance, okay? <laughs> okay, I, I have friends. Mm. Or platonic friends. You know, I mean, not in the way you're thinking, anyway. Platonic friends? Yeah. <laughs> Listen. Angel, I know you now. We went to the same school together. I mean, you used to be one hot chick in school. Come on, you even did it for the money somehow. Must Let's you remind me that? Henry? Look, Henry, that was Angel of the past. This is Angelica. He knew me. I am born again now. I'm a child of God. I'm renewed. I'm different. Listen, please just stop that. What are you talking about? You see, sex and love go together and both of them translate into marriage. You should understand that. No, no, no. I receive to believe that. That is totally not possible. It doesn't even sound right. <laughs> you know, I don't even know why we're talking about this. You know, we need to stop right now, okay? You, I, I came here because I wanted to know what you said. All right, and I don't know why you keep stressing about this point that you've been making since you're in the car. You know, I really think maybe I should just leave. Just look at my kitchen. Just take a look around. This is my brother's house, and it's also my house. You know, just imagine how much I can spend. But stop that, Henry. Stop that. What is wrong with you? In fact, you know what? Move. Move. What is all this, Harry? You've been talking about the same thing all day and I'm trying to stop you. You're not stopping. I mean, I came here because I wanted to know your place. You wanted me to know your place. Now you're making me uncomfortable. Hey, hey, it's all right. Slow down. It's all right. It's all right. At least for now. Look, know? if I must tell you, I have been celibate for the past two and a half years. Mm. Yeah, does that mean anything to you? So stop trying to get fresh with me. It's not going to work. <laughs> No, I'm serious. I mean, it's okay. Yeah, so That's, for now, for now, it's okay. I mean, you're being like one college girl. What's your problem, man? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, I hear you. Excuse us, Angela. Uh, Henry, I just remember that I have an important cocktail to attend later this evening. And? I would like you to please help me go collect some of my clothes at the laundry. Um, excuse me, Angela, it won't be long. Uh, actually, I will. It's alright, I will. Um, I'll um, be back in a bit. Huh? It's okay. Okay. Okay, that's how you go. Alright. Um, sorry. Hi. Uh, um, Harry told me you were one schoolmates. Yes, we were. May I, may I see? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. So, um, what's your full name? Angelica. Angelica. Beautiful name. Thank you. <laughs> Look, Angelica, it will please me if you will just relax and feel at home. I see that you're a little bit uneasy or should I say upset? No, I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, yeah, sure. Okay, so um, what's your place of primary assignment? Oh, I work at the port. Oh, well, that's a good place to work. To work. <laughs> um, Henry told me you lost your wife and baby. I'm really sorry for your losses. It's, it's alright. It's alright. My wife was a great woman. A loving and caring wife and a trusted friend. I hate to remember that Friday. That dark Friday. When one reckless driver snatched the lives of two innocent people. The fact of my wife and a five month old pregnancy. I, 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 I guess it's all over now. My life must continue, but it's. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm It's okay, it's okay, man. Yeah. 
I'm really sorry about this. I, I understand totally how you feel. And it's, it's okay to talk about it, you know, so that way you can ease off some of the pressure. I mean, you know, we all go through um, difficult situations sometimes in our life, but, you know, we talk about it and the ability to move on and be strong is it what helps us really to be human beings. <laughs> it's alright, but um, just hold it a moment. You said, we all go through, have you been through a tragedy of such import? <laughs> Yes, I have. I, I have. I mean, not as serious as this, mm -hmm. but in my own little way, I have fought my own battles too. I mean, I just broke up with my fiance. <laughs> yeah, and it was quite messy. I mean, I put in some good years in that relationship and I thought it was heading somewhere. But all of a sudden, towards the end of the relationship, he just started to act funny and he just couldn't, couldn't keep our golden rule. Golden rule? <laughs> Which rule is that that needed to be adhered to so strongly? Yeah, I... Um, we had a major rule in our relationship and... You know, we decided that we would not have the... There will be no amorous... Um, you know, no sex before marriage, actually. <laughs> I can't believe this. In this free and reckless world, look, such a rule requires a lot, a lot of restraint. And I'm ready to be, to restrain myself. And he wants to. I don't know what happened to him later and he slipped off it, but I am ready to keep to it. And I believe that in due season, that one person who was made for me, who will keep to that rule, will find his way to me. I, I strictly believe that. But till that time, I, 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 will, I will remain strong. I mean, like they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So I know I will find that person. Thank you. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Henry. Thank you. Um, thank you. Angel, it felt good talking with you. <laughs> yeah. This is my first time in a very long while that I, I was able to burden myself to another person. Oh. We, we, we sort of connected. Yeah, we did. Thank you for listening to me. Oh, yeah. I'm keep the spirit. I, I like it. Thank you. Well, I don't hear your um, machines ringing right now. Where are they? <laughs> Those distracting cell phones. That time is past. This time is mine. Oh, that's time for everything. I should have learned to do that today. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Wow, very nice brother you have there. He's a, he's a real different person from the person I saw in the car when coming. Really? I can see you know, both of you are getting along, eh? Yeah, we, 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 we kind of connected. You know? I thought it was real stock up and everything. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> I have to go. Well, I just hope you're not just lacking my brother right now. Yes. Yeah, well, I'll pop in to see you, you know, some other time, huh? <laughs> nice seeing you again. Yes, really it is, you know, but, um, you know, it's it's so sad, you know, that you can't do little or nothing for me, you know, since you have this new foreign policy. Foreign policy? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're calling now? Yeah, of course, that's what it is. I mean, you made it and it's affecting people like me. You should reconsider your stand -up. Oh, thank yeah. God, it affects people like you. Because for people like us, it is a success story anytime. Look at you, Henry. You have not changed one bit. Still the same like you were in school. Uh -uh. I mean, look at your brother. All successful and put together and everything. Just be like him a little. Oh, what's this now? You tried to compare me with my brother once. Oh, really? Angel. Hey, would you want to hi? I actually just got in. Okay. Yeah. Henry. Hey. 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 Christmas for I suppose. Joe. I mean, have you given him your first cup? Joe! <coughs> hello, hello, I'm here. Yes, yes, yes. Let me give introductions. Mm -hmm. Um, Henry, meet my friend, my very close friend, and of course, flatmate, mm -hmm. Would you? Would you meet Henry? Okay. Henry's my old school mate from way back in the University of Abuja, and I actually just ran into him 
on my way home. Oh god, I know. I mean, I was just pulling your leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. You're welcome, boy. Yeah. Boy. <laughs> Darling, it is man. M A N. Okay, and I'm old enough to do what adults do. <coughs> yeah, I actually forgot to tell you. He's actually approaching 45. Are you serious? Hey, 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 stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Anyways, I have to be going now. Yeah? So I'll pop in to see you and then, uh, you know, we can reconcile events. Let me see him. <laughs> Alright, bye. Oh, God. Crazy guy. Damien, what is it? What are you taking for, Angela? You think I'm a fool? Let me tell you, you cannot eat your cake and have it back. Did you hear me? What do you want from me? Listen, Angela. I want to have everything I bought for you within the period of this relationship. I want all of them back. And now! Hey man, how do you expect me to do that? Angela, don't try my temperament. Because I'm going to deal with you seriously. I want all of them back. The jewelries, the bags, the everything about the handset, I want them back now. Boys, how can you come here demanding everything you bought for a girl? That's low. With this thug? Shit. Yeah, that's big, man. That's low. That's low. You got all your things, okay? That's all the things that you give to me. Take your phone. Take it. Um, if I find anything else, I'll, I'll send it to you, okay? Um, please, Damien, please control yourself, okay? Angel will talk things over with you, please, okay? Please, okay. Pick them up. Hey, 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 mister, now you have your cheap things. Can you just take them away so this girl can leave? And who are you? And who are you two? Are you mad? You know who you are talking to? Are you mad? 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 One more of that. Slap me. You will regret your life. No, you, you slap me. You will regret your life. Try it again. I swear you will regret your life. I swear you will regret your life. I just blame you. Yeah? Like, it's over. It's now your turn. Hey, hey, hey. Control yourself now. Control yourself. You will get what I got. Soon. Idiot. Take off the table. I've marked you. I've marked you. You have marked you. It's okay. It's okay. I want you to do it as quickly as possible. I'll be coming in late tomorrow. But when I come, I want to see it done. Okay? Good. Alright. Till tomorrow then. Henry, what happened to your face? It's that stupid girl that cost it, you know? I mean, her ex fiance came to her house Demanding that she gives him everything he had bought for her in the past. Now, I missed their scuffle and in my quest to settling them, I got this hard one on my face. Can you imagine that? That doesn't sound like a Kevin Lover, does it? Anyway, um, just take it easy, okay? It's all in the name of love. <laughs> Come back. Sit down. Um, Henry, let me ask you one question. How close are you to what, what's her name? Angela. You love her, don't you? Please, love my butt. I'm telling you, I almost got a broken job because of that girl. And I don't understand what she means by no sex before marriage. I cannot have a fiancé that cannot be laid. I mean, don't mind all these born-again girls. They just hide under that umbrella to commit a lot of atrocities. 
So you don't think she's real? Well, I don't know. It's just that I don't trust anybody. I mean, women are so deceitful now. Just as they can be very faithful. Please. Um, don't you think that we make them what they are? Bros. Yeah? The way you're sounding, don't tell me you're contemplating. You know, yes, I am. But on one condition. That is if you are not interested. Ross, listen. You're my elder brother, okay? I have been there before. We have done it. Okay? She's not your level. Hey. Don't run her down, okay? Don't. Ross, you're my elder brother, okay? I have been there. We have done it. You understand me? I mean, she's not your class hey. now. She's not... For the last time, are you still interested in her or not? No, I'm not. Good. Then I'll wait for us to meet. Ross. I hope you understand what you're saying. This girl is not fit enough to Ross, be with you. Like I have said, okay, go. Ross, Ross, listen. You and I know that you don't even need me here, okay? Your meeting with her is definitely a yes because you'll be doing her one big favor. You know that. She's not your level. Henry, Henry, your level. Henry, Henry, Henry. You underrate people too much. Look, you just are waiting for us to meet, okay? So, uh, why don't you call the waiter and ask him what uh, you want to drink or Henry. <laughs> Would you please respect tonight by putting away that cigarette? <laughs> okay. Thank you. So, to what do we owe this elaborate arrangement tonight? That reminds me. Thank you so much for yesterday. And I'm truly sorry about the embarrassment. Ah, it's alright, it's alright. So, I mean, Henry, you're, you're really going to fight that guy? Straight up now, you know me now. I would have rushed him one time. I'm not like my brother who is cool and calculated and not like that. You know, I'll yeah, talk it out with guys, speaking you know? about your brother, how is, I hope he didn't tell me. Yeah. How is he doing anyway? Well, he's doing well, he's doing good, you know. He's, he's, he's doing okay and uh, he's right here. Yeah, yeah, behind you. Hi, Angelica. Hey, hi. How are you? Oh, hi. Well, I must say you look um, quite sensational. <laughs> Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. Please, sit down. Okay. Um, my name is Alan. Please. Yeah. All right, um, I have to be going now, huh? Oh, all right. Uh, you sent me on an errand, you know, so I have to be going. Oh, you're uh, going? Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Right. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, talk to you later now, okay? See you Where later. Are you going? Yeah, you got my number, right? So, call me. Uh, hi. Hi. I must say your dress becomes you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to order now? So I can. Um... Yeah. Um, is it really gone? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. Um, would you like to place your order now? So I can call the waiter? 
Oh, all right. What do you want to eat? Uh, anything is fine. Rice? Yeah, anything. Okay. Uh, waiter! Waiter! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, you know what, Angelica? Yeah. Your lovely face has taunted me and teased me since I set my eyes on you yesterday. Your company is quite bewitching and genuine. And you're a very interesting person to be with and you're always very infectious. Thank you. Um, all, all I'm saying is... Uh, Marry me. Please. I'm sorry, I didn't see that coming. I mean, um... Are you serious? Of course I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I mean, you don't even know me too well. Angelica, I am a mature man. I don't need months, years to get to know you. I know what I want and what I want is you. Marry me, please. Please. Please, I need some time to think about this. I mean, I'm... I'm really shocked by this request. I mean, don't get me wrong, I, I totally appreciate it and I feel honored. Um, but I have a lot that I I truly have to think about and clear my head about. I mean, I just... I, um, can you just give, um, give me some time to think about this? It's, it's, all, it's all right, it's okay, it's all right. Yeah. Uh, you can take all the time you want, okay? I'm sorry I didn't embarrass you. No, 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 no. I'm totally fine. Are you sure? Okay. Another. What's that supposed to mean? Some kind of joke? No. Anyways, who is this man? Albert Dozi. Henry's older brother. Happens to be the owner of Almond Holdings. <laughs> Almond Holdings. Can you imagine? And you know the most ridiculous thing? This man proposed to me immediately, like instantly. Isn't that weird? Um, did you accept the proposal? How could I accept when we haven't even discussed it? Of course not. <laughs> um, what about Henry? That one. Do you know he was the one that set up the whole thing? Then what are you waiting for? Yes. What am I waiting for, would you? 
with you for crying out loud. I need to be extremely careful now. I don't want to go through another stressful relationship. I just got out of one. Um, Angel, Damien is in your past. This is your future. Yeah. Uh, they don't, don't allow this your church will have us for this one. Mm -hmm. What are you saying? This is paradise on earth. What is wrong with you? Hmm? I hope so. That was what we said about Damien to paradise on earth. Angel, Damien is in the past. This is the future. future. Yes. I know it looks good or it sounds good, yes. say, but we have to be careful. Anyways, um, my company is sending me on a three months course to Abuja on Monday. Three months course in Abuja? Yes, three months course. I'm serious, really. You mean I'm going to be alone in this house for three months? <laughs> Would you? I'm going to be very lonely. How am I going to cope? No. Not when your millionaire fiance is all over it you. It's not my fiance. I have not accepted this proposal. But you will accept, I know. I will not accept the proposal. Are you putting what in my mouth? Okay. What? He's rich. Okay, I'm going to tell him that my friend likes him. No, my friend likes his money. No, I don't like his money. You like his money. <laughs> okay, yes, I like money, but I don't ah, like his money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you like to get his money? No, I don't like his money. <laughs> That's what you like at all. I, I, know, I know I like money. Yeah, I, know I, like, I know I like money. Yeah. I'm sure you don't even know the way the guy looks. You just like his money. I'm going to be in the shop. I'm serious. I'm going to be in the shop. I'm going to be in the shop. The door is open. Hello, ladies. Mr. Albert. How did you find where I live? Henry is your friend. He knows this place, so here I am. Oh. Um. Would you ask Mr. Albert? Um. You remember Henry? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's his older brother. Oh. Um, that's Uju, my, my best friend, and she's my flatmate. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is shared. <laughs> um, I'll be waiting in the car, okay? Okay. Excuse me. You're excused. Mm. I see you girls are going out. Yeah. We're going to the cinema. Um, so how can I help you? Actually, I came here for two reasons. One, to see where you're living and um, two, to get a reply to my request. Oh, your request? Um, um, I haven't made up my mind, I'm sorry. So you want to make up your mind when my BP skyrockets? <laughs> Come on, Angel, this is important to me. Can you... Give me two days, you know, just give me two days. I'll have made up my mind by then. Two days? Yeah. Okay, two days. No more, no less. <laughs> That's okay. Well, um, if you don't mind, it will be my pleasure to accompany you girls to the cinema. Okay. Um, after you, after, after <laughs> you. <laughs> I have to lock my door. <laughs> <laughs> of God, that man that was specially made for me would find me. He will locate me. What is your problem? Ah, uh, what is it? Give me a note of crying out loud. What is your concern in all of this anyway? You see why I say you have a fish brain? You see why I say you are naive? Oh, you think if my best friend get married to the richest and the youngest millionaire in town, I'll still be like this, eh? Look here, Angel. I have everything to gain. So watch it. Watch it, all. Watch it. 
But you, you see? Money, money, money. Would you, for God's sake, there is so much about the relationship besides money. What is it with you and money, money, money? Just leave me alone. Ah! Look at Angel. This guy is rich. He's caring. He's a perfect gentleman. He confirmed this and I saw it. So what else are you looking for? What else? I am sick and tired of all that. I'm sick of it. Nonsense. Don't you think it's about time we got, you know, a, a cook? I mean, we can't be ordering food all the time from restaurants. This is a house, not a hotel, you know. The person, I know Auntie is dead. But seriously, I, I think you should stop being skeptical about having a cook and do the right thing. You know, move on with your life. Well, you're right. But I think what I need more is a wife. As far as that wife can cook, she's welcome. In your food. Uh -huh. but, well, Henry, come, come to think of it. Why don't you do the cooking? Gross. Mm -hmm. You know how it is with me. I'm not that domesticated. <laughs> Yeah. What? Alright, alright, we'll be there. Just take it easy, we'll, we'll be there, okay? Alright. Who was that? Who drew Angel's friend? She said Angel was admitted at the hospital last night. Which hospital? Uh, St. Lucia's Hospital. You know, as Raspberry's <laughs> room. Good afternoon, sirs. Oh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah, Johnny, um, that's my friend, Albert. That's his brother, Henry. This is Johnny, my friend, my very good friend. It's my pleasure, sir. Nice to meet you, too. Bye. Angel, I hope you're getting better. Oh, yes, I'm okay now. Angel, let me take my leave. Okay. Okay. I'll come tomorrow. Okay. Sir, so, you will think. Okay, nice meeting you. Okay. Bye. So, Angel, how are you feeling? I'm okay. Would you call to tell us we were rushed to the hospital last night? Yeah. What, what's really happening? It was terrible. Um, I've been feeling this sharp pain, you know, in my abdomen for a while, but I didn't think it was anything. Yesterday night, it just been really bad. I rushed to be down here and they had to operate on me immediately. So it's appendicitis. Mm. And they had almost ruptured. So. Thank God. Thank God you're okay. But really now, how are you feeling? A little bit, but I'm okay. That's good. That's good. You're free to go now, Angel. Yes, I'm free to go. But endeavor to keep to the diet for at least two weeks. Oh, I sure will. Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome. Come on, let's go. Uh, she hasn't given me the bill. No, it's been taken care of. Taking care of? Yeah? Yes, taking care of. Oh, thank you. Um, take care of yourself now, okay? And don't forget to come for checkup whenever you feel any abnormality. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thank you so much. Have a pleasant day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, the only way to thank me is to accept my proposal. 
Anyway, um, what is your take on coming over to stay at my place since you two will be traveling the next two days? Really, I can take care of myself. I know. Well, there's nothing wrong if there's someone else taking care of you. Okay, but well you have to take me home so I can get some of my stuff. No problem. Mm -hmm. I, I'll even arrange the house out for you. <laughs> you can't let me Your brother is very nice, you know. Hmm. And very caring too. And he loves you too. How do you know that? Listen, don't ask me how I know, but I know. So you see, Angel, I need you to do me this one favor. You know, at least in appreciation of my role in making your relationship work. Okay. What do you want to you? You see, Angel, my brother has bluntly refused the idea of me traveling abroad. But you see, I know that's where my heart is. You know, that's where my destiny lies. Okay, Harry. I see you want me to help seduce your brother into allowing you to, you know, no, do your heart no, desire. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that. I just want you to plead with him. You know, just break his barrier a little bit in that direction, you know? Just break the man. How do you know I can do that? He loves you, remember? Is that all you ask? Yes, just, just do it for me. That's not too much for me to do. I could talk to him. Uh, please, please, just do it. See, this country is hell. I'm, I'm tired. How can you live in this kind of hole and hell? Hello. Hi. Hi. Bros, welcome. How are you? Yeah. Here you Hello. How are you? I'm fine. You look good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and how are you? Well, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Angel, Henry, this is Gina, our new house help. So you're hereby relieved of the duty? Yeah, it's about time. <laughs> <laughs> so Henry, just take Gina around and show her the job specification, okay? Okay. okay. Um, my name is Henry. So how was your day? Well, okay. How was yours? God's brother, so I'm your second dog. Do you understand? I guess I'm trying to get arrested me. Um, it's okay. Angel, I want to thank you for coming over. You can see the difference in me. <laughs> now tell me, are you still interested in starting work? Yes. It's all right. But that will have to wait until I come back, okay? All right. And please, I want you to take care of him for me. He's all I have got. Okay, and I know your Uju is supposed to be back in two days' time. Yeah. But please do send her my apology for withholding you. Okay? I will. Okay. Come on, let's go. Um, Albert. Um, Henry. I mean, about Henry's request. This is the first time I'm raising the issue and you still haven't given me an answer. About the travel issue? Yeah. Negative. Angel, Henry and I are the only surviving members of our family. He's all I have got. 
Now tell me, what happens to my vast business and kids if anything bad happens to me? But nothing is going to happen to you. Amen. We don't pray for anything bad to happen. But you know as well as I do that Henry is a bomb waiting to explode when it comes to socializing. He still thinks he's a juvenile. Okay, look at someone who left this house for some silly party yesterday. He's still not back. All Henry thinks about is drinking and clubbing with girls. If I show him New York, that guy is as good as lost. But oh. he... Please, darling, please. I have made up my mind concerning Henry a long time ago. Okay? Come on, be asking me what the matter is. No, how can you be asking me that kind of question? You know my best friend, Emeka, don't you? Mm -hmm. Good. Emeka traveled out of this country last night and he was fully sponsored by his elder brother who is an honored civil servant and I'm here who's still in this country when I have a brother like you. Okay, so that's what's biting you. Now, Henry, read my lips clearly. I'd be a fool to let you travel abroad. I own three companies that are begging for honest management. And here you are, talking about traveling abroad. Are you mad? Are you crazy? I will not discuss this thing again with you. And please leave Angel out of it. You're my younger brother. I know the game you're playing. You can have anything from me except this travel madness. Why don't you show me some responsibility for once by managing the businesses and settling down with the wife? And I promise you, I will sponsor your honeymoon anywhere in the world that you want to go, okay? What's wrong with this guy? Look, Harry, I don't like this at all. I mean, for crying out loud, you should respect my privacy. Privacy, my butt. Listen, you seem to forget that I brought you into the set. And all I've been asking of you is to beg my brother so that I can travel. But no, you've not done that. But you know what? You must do it. You must do it, too. You must do it. You must do it, too. Television. Television? What loud? And to do that. 
we've kind of gone as high as we possibly can with it. We both what we wanted, although it took about seven exhaust systems to achieve that sound. It was really a big drop, you know. Henry! Henry! Huh? What was that for now? Henry, that was way too loud. I mean, I, I was hearing that practically from outside. Uh, and so? Oh, maybe I should have just allowed you to tear down the whole house. And what's your business if I pull down the house? Huh? What's your concern with the house? What? Now tell me what now? Hmm. Harry, I see that in the past few days now you've been you've been so angry, you've been boiling over. Look, if you don't want me staying here, if my staying here is considers me bothering you, then tell me and let me go. Uh, better, better, just leave, leave, leave. Because as far as I'm concerned, you're Getting into this house has been a failed venture to me. Just, just go, go away. I see. I see that this is about the venture of you traveling out of the country, right? You actually think that I, I can help you in your quest, and I've not been able to achieve anything. So you're, you're, you're upset with me. Look, I, I've been trying my best, Henry. What do you want me to do? Henry, I'm trying my best, but your brother is not budging. What do you want me to do? And why will you budge? It's because you're not sharp now. You're not sharp. You're not sharp. That's why you won't budge. Maybe if you just calm down a little bit, maybe things could happen. Your brother could still change his mind, but you need to calm down. You've been, you've been putting a lot of tension in the house of late. Please, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Come, come, what do you think you are You think you're diamond? No man can touch me except if he marries me. Come, now he punch Jesus. The person touch you, what do you want to happen, Seth? What do you want to happen? It's all my brother cooling down and softening every day by the minute. It keeps getting harder. Don't talk to me. Oh. Listen, this is what I want you to do. Eh? When my brother comes back, this is what you should do. Just, just quit this relationship. Call it off mm. so there can be space. So that I can invite and bring in somebody who is sharp. You know, somebody who has the willpower to convince my brother to help me travel. That's what I want. Hey. You understand me? Please, just quit this relationship. You just go and watch this thing in my room. Hey, Wakajo. Hello, um, um, would you, hi, how, how are you, um, how was your journey, your course, was it okay, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm okay, I'm okay, actually, I just, uh, I just woke up, yeah, I just woke up, that's why I'm sounding a little bit hazy, but are you, are you fine though, are you okay? Um, I'm sorry, I can't come right away. Albert is not around, but um, uh, just give me a few hours. When Albert comes back, uh, I'll start coming. So maybe in the next two hours. <laughs> Are you okay, though? All right, so I'll see you later, okay? All right, you take care of yourself, darling. Bye.
<laughs> um, is Angel here with you? No, on the contrary, as we speak right now, she's lost in the deepest ocean of love with my brother. So I said to myself, you know, as two lone rangers that we are, why don't we make the best out of this boring day? Harry, yes. as you can see, I just came back. I need to tidy up my house. Tidying up your house can wait. But myself treating this beauty queen in front of me to a delicious dinner cannot wait. By the way, I mean, who told you that I'm back? You did ask me of Angela, didn't you? So you see, I know. <laughs> so please, 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 can we, you know, bounce to dinner, please? Sounds like you're loaded, huh? Of course, Henry's always loaded. What are you talking about? Okay, um, just give me five minutes to drop my bag and freshen up. I'll be here with you, okay? Okay. And make sure you make yourself comfortable. Yeah. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeah, and please, please, please do make me comfortable by making it four minutes instead of five. You're crazy. <laughs> It's okay now, you have been nagging me all day about this thing. NJ, hey, uh, honestly, I don't like what happened to Bidiv and Amy. Huh? Be careful, just be careful. I've heard you. How would I have known that Amy would turn out like that? How would I have known that he would turn out to be a rapist? Eh? <laughs> I wish I was there. I wish I was there on that day. It's okay. Look, I gave him everything I had with me. And I told him that if I find anything more, I will send it to him. You know what? He's not worth talking about. I've moved on. Let's just forget it. Just be careful, Angel. Now, this new guy, I will show that he will live up the expectation. <laughs> hmm? How would I know? Only God knows that. But I can't say because I had a terrible experience with Damien. So, I mean, every other man that comes along would, would be a beast, you know? I'm not getting younger. I have to move on my life. We must have to be careful. Yeah? I know. Angie, yeah? you are not becoming to fellowship. You are backsliding. I am not backsliding. I've just had a lot on my mind of late, okay? Alright, I'll come to fellowship next week. On Wednesday. Okay. Pass through this place and let's go together. I'll go. It's my duty. I'll come and pick you. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll come by four o'clock. I'll be coming. Don't, time. exactly. I know you. Don't yeah. come by four o'clock. If you come early, I won't be around. Okay. Are you Jesus' father? Mm, yes, I had one. Go. I'll go. go. I'll go. By four on Wednesday. If I come before the time, if I come after time, you'll stay outside now because the door will be locked. Let me run. Remember, tomorrow is our seat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. How are you now? Take care. Okay. Bye. Okay. Baby. What's up? I'm good, I'm good, I'm um, good. We had a nice time. Yes, you know? we did. Yeah. <laughs> we'll do it again, right? Of course. Okay. Why? All right. Of course. Mm. I had it. fun. Really? Yes, give me some did. more sugar. Baby. <laughs> <You know. laughs> Whoa! Oh god, I had so much fun! Yeah, yeah. Uh, who's he? Oh, hi. Hey. Hey. Johnny, what's up? Hi. Yes. Yeah, how are you? I'm okay. Good afternoon. Yeah. Long time. Ah, so how are you doing? Um, are you about it? Mm, I came since morning. Okay, okay. No problem, sir. Yeah. All right, have fun, man. Have, fun, too, have right? fun, have fun, have fun, have fun, man. Have okay, fun. take care. Yeah, bye, bye. bye. <laughs> are you sure that guy is not dating Angel? No, please don't even go there. He's not dating Angel, okay? You're sure? Yes, but I know that they're very close. Okay, whatever, man. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Anyway, darling, um, I don't have much cash on me right now. Listen, little money, okay, little money, but hey. Thank you, darling. Yeah, this is a check I've got all signed out. You know, just cash it out tomorrow, and uh, that should be enough for you for five days. Five days? Of course, oh, this five is good. Days. This is really good. Thank There's you, more darling. where that came from. Mm. Oh, Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. I'm so grateful, okay? Um, of course, you should be. You should be grateful. What are you talking about? <laughs> Stop I mean, it. That's good money in that bag. <laughs> yeah, really I know. I said thank you. All right, babe. Um, so, I'll see you some other time, right? All right. When? 
tomorrow, most definitely. It's okay. okay. So have a nice day, darling. All right, baby. And be good. You know I don't trust you. I'm good. Bye, darling. All right, now. You take care now. Okay, darling. Take care. Henry, of course. Yes. Is that why your face looks older than my grandmother's? Mid, what's so special about so on burning of the stress with your friend? With a friend? Yeah. Yes, with a friend. Uju, I am your friend and your flatmate. I mean, how could you go out with someone like that without even informing me? What is wrong with you? Angel, are you trying to say that I am not mature enough to know what I want? That is besides the point, Uju. Uju Henry is my brother-in-law to be. For crying out loud, Uju. You should have confided in me. I mean, we confide in each other. When Albert came asking me, did I not confide in you? Did we not talk about it? Did you not advise me? You didn't even wait for me to come back and welcome you properly before gallivanting about town with a boy that you even hardly know. Uju, for crying out loud, can't you cop your sexual appetite for once in your life? Angel, what is this? I mean, why do you allow simple things to sway your nerves? You get worked up about little things. What is wrong with you? You're too old fashioned. Yes! You're, you're, you're old fashioned. You, you just grow up, grow up, and you grow up. What is wrong with you? I mean, Henry was right in it. Yes, he was right. Henry was right about what? About your timidity and penetrating stuff. Okay. Yes. I'm timid. Mm -hmm. I'm timid. Yes. Thank you very much. What difference does that make? At least I know what I'm doing. A lot, darling. A lot. Because me, hmm, Albert would have been seduced into allowing Harry travel to the US. But no! You're too naive to carry out a small goal. Too naive! That's, that's your problem. I mean, I'm sorry about this, your but again, attitude. Just, just change it. Just grow up, girl. Shit. So you guys just met <laughs> in a few hours and you guys are already discussing me with you. You're already discussing me with, 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 with a new guy just... Specifically to discuss our wedding arrangement. Come on. About, I mean, Alda, I prefer you come in here. I mean, what's wrong with us talking about it here? <laughs> what's wrong with the privacy of my home? Besides, I want you to prepare something special for me, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll come. Um, Albert. Don't you think you should give some more thought to this? This Harry's um this you know, this request, this request of Harry's. I mean, you know. So that is it, eh? He was all over you about it. I suppose you got pretty nasty too. 
No, no, he didn't. I mean, he was, he was very worried, and anytime Angel, he's worried. Angel, Angel. You're lying, Angel. You're lying. Angel. Henry is my younger brother. I know him too well to be deceived. I know he can get pretty nasty and stubborn when he's desperate. Is that the only thing I want to say? How about if that's the way you feel about it, then I don't think I want to come this weekend. You're feeling guilty, aren't you? No. You think I'm going to fall out with him over this and you don't want to be blamed for any trouble. Is that so? No, that's not it. That's really not it, Albert. But I mean, you're a macho man and you, you really have great understanding. But I want you to think about this. You know how it feels when you really have a dream and then it, it just never comes to pass. It doesn't materialize. I mean, we all get upset. And he really thinks that I can do something to help, but I, I, I'm just not doing it. But I'm trying. I'm trying the best I can. You're just not, and sincerely, you're just not helping. Please, I, I just want you to think about it. Okay. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Henry, you shouldn't have done that. You have no right to task or upset her with your personal problems. Is that what she told you? I am not daft, Henry. When Angel was begging me this evening to reconsider your case, I knew she'd been through hell with you over it. Even though she tried to hide her fear and worry, I saw through her. Well, that's her business. That is Angel's business. Wait, 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 bros, bros, bros. wait, wait. Is Angel now causing problems between you and I? No, it is you. You know damn well that I will never agree to your traveling abroad. I made that very clear to you. But no, you wanted her to perform magic. Ross, Ross, <laughs> look, I want to travel. I want to travel. I want to travel. Look, Ross, let me tell you, I can sponsor myself out of this country. It's just that I'm respecting you. I'm just giving you respect. Henry, will you shut up? Are you mad? I've said my own name. I'm just respecting him. Henry, stop right there. Stop right there. How did you try walking out on me? Look, if you have in any way upset Angelica because of this travel thing, you had better go and apologize to her, if not for anything, because of me. And one more thing. Get ready to take over the management of the cosmetic factory. The minute you leave that town, and that is precisely in two weeks' time. And lastly, don't you ever threaten me with sponsoring yourself out of this country, because if you do, I will not only disown you out that way. I will win every goddamn copper and asset I have to those who deserve it. Get that right into your head and get out of my sight. Albert, it's okay. It has not come to that. It's okay. It's okay. his parents and was abandoned by his uncles. My husband took pity and I brought him in with his younger brother whom I sent to my sister. We trained him. Oh, that was so kind of you. I'm sure he must be extremely jealous at his success right now. <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> he has never failed doing his best for us. Oh, my dear. Business has not been all that easy. With a large family to cater for and a sick husband to nurse. I wonder what I could have done without Albert. <sighs> Auntie, what actually happened to your husband? It is a long story, my dear. He became diabetic. Lately, a devastating stroke hit him. 
My husband could have been a dead man if not for Albert's intervention. He was treated in the best hospital overseas. Wow. Yes. Is he all right now? It's time for everything. Indeed, Albert is a kind man. <laughs> and with such a good woman like you. <laughs> and too. Hmm. You're not quick to judge me at all. Listen, even a blind man can see through you. See how we are talking just within a few days of knowing one another. My dear, I can't tell you. <laughs> I know Albert will be missing his late lovely wife. I will try not to let you down. I'm so grateful for the opportunity you've given me. All I ask from you is your prayers. I'll try my best. I promise I'll put both of you in prayer. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to warn him. He's getting me very, very upset. Albert, please take it easy with him. I talked sense into him yesterday, and I believe he will change. Maybe what he needs now is to live alone and face responsibilities. Auntie, live alone? No. Face his responsibilities? Yes. In fact, as soon as he finishes his youth service, He'll start working in one of my companies. That is my decision. I have made my mind up. If so, it's okay by me. to do with all this? <laughs> Auntie Rose, nothing is too much for you. In fact, to me, you're very valuable. Just <laughs> take this for your welfare, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you too. My God will continue to bless you. Amen. What with that face? <laughs> Auntie, please, please, please. Let me walk you to the car park. Okay? I want you to be rest assured that every decision I take concerning you is for your own good, okay? Well, I'm sorry once again. Hey, it's all right. Come, come here. Come here. You know you're my cute brother. You're the only one I have. Hmm? Yeah. So what's your program like today? Um, well, in the next 15 minutes, I'll be going to the mechanics, you know, to service my car, and then uh, I'll come back and and stay till lunch time and afterwards I'll go pick my car. But after the games I'll be spending quality time with my friends. But I will definitely come back home for lunch. Alright, you just have fun. Um, Gina! Gina! Um, Gina, your auntie will be coming over later in the day, okay? I want you to put everything together for her. She's going to prepare something delicious for lunch. Okay, then. Okay, okay. I'm here to catch you later. All right. You 
must tell me where you're going to. After all the embarrassment you met down on me a few days ago. <laughs> Uju, why? Why would you embarrass me like that? What for, Uju? Where did I go wrong? Um, listen, Angel. I... I didn't mean all I said, okay? I... I was just trying to get your attention. I guess I was a little tipsy. Tipsy? Hmm. Yeah. With lover boy's sugar-coated mouth, I guess. Uju, what is it? I was only asking you to confide in me. At least if you had told me, I would have been able to chip in a few things. Maybe one or two things that would have helped you. Even though you think that I'm very naive or laid back or... I said I'm sorry, okay? I, I didn't mean all I said. I'm sorry now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? Okay. Alright, I forgive you. Thank you. Look, Uju. All I want is for you to be very careful, okay? I mean, Henry can sometimes be very slimy and deceitful. Look, I don't mean to run him down, but I don't want him to see you as a cheap catch. You have to be very careful with you, okay? Okay. Please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going out with Albert. I'll send you back. Okay. Um, one more thing. What? You look beautiful. <laughs> I'm serious. Just look at you. Yeah, just look at you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the fabric and the style match perfectly. Really? Yeah. I think it's nice. Of course, look at you. Not too old. You look really beautiful. Really? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I'll send you back. Okay. All right. Okay. Hi, girl. That's so good. <laughs> today. Man, you sure look beautiful. Thank you. And trust me when I say you look better and posh, you know, cutting down on this born again thing. Harry, I am not cutting down on any born again thing, okay? Albert bought these for me and he insisted that she wear them today. Anyway, thanks for the compliment. Oh yeah, there she is. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can you please help me get this position okay? I'm going upstairs to go do some scrub because I'm sure you didn't do that. Okay. And cook. Yeah, about the food. I'll do the cooking very soon because I'm sure you're very hungry. Well, yeah. How about you come help out to the kitchen for one time? Um, um, that's not where I should be. I should be well represented at the dining table by me. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Uh, Yeah. 
you take me home, please? I mean, Uji doesn't know about the accident. Otherwise, she would have called. But it would be nice for me to let her know. And then I would just like to rest a little bit. But I'll come. I'll come in tomorrow. And I still owe you guys that lunch. I even forgot to to to, to call her. No, it's alright. I'll take you home. Okay. Just a four. Come on, Angel. You called it just a four? Mm -hmm. You were knocked up for three hours and you called it just a four. <laughs> for three hours, you were out and I was almost dying. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you looking Thank again. Thank you. How are you doing? I'm good. Missing you, you know. <laughs> Sit down. Well, thinking about you, missing you. Uh, hold on. Gina! Gina! Mother! Come. Uh, I'm sorry. How mm -hmm. your body? I'm okay now. I'm fine. We thank God. Ah. Um, Gina, on no account should your auntie do any heavy duty chore in this house again, okay? No washing, no scrubbing, nothing. Uh, well, maybe except cooking, okay? Mm -hmm. well, it's just an accident. I know. That's why I want you to recover. Am I understood? Have I made myself clear? Yes, brother. You can go. Hey. Are you okay? Yes, I'm sure. Are you sure you're okay? Yes. Um, but I... I feel good. Yes, you can go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Thank you're welcome. Me. You're welcome. Honey, you know, if not for Henry, I'm telling you, it would have been another story. Well, God forbid, but you know, he's my kid brother now, my younger brother. Um, he sometimes, you know, with his social life and. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> now, what's that? What's that? Stop it. I mean, we, two of us will go way back. I know, mm -hmm. I know. So thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. It's thank right, you. All right. Uh, let me retire to my room and leave you to love birds. <laughs> oh, please, please do, please do. <laughs> Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Right. Okay. Favorite. Okay. Like this is soup. 
You guys have missed this, haven't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Be careful. <laughs> Is this enough? Uh, no, but some are going first. Okay. Some are going to Aha, that's a good <laughs> Do you know why I love you so much? I'll never get tired of hearing it. Tell me. <laughs> You're an intelligent and beautiful woman. You've got poison and subtle lady girls. And above all, you have this irresistible kitchen culture. How about for crying out loud? All this alcohol is for one person. Nothing is too much for a charming lady like you. Oh. Well, you can see why I deserve a gold medal for keeping back my appetite with you. <laughs> and deuces if you get your gold medal. Deuce? Why don't you make the deuces in two months from now? That's enough time to arrange an elaborate wedding. It's going to be the wedding of the century. What do you say? Oh, dear. Just like that? Just not possible. I mean, we need more than two months to get ready for a wedding. No. You know, we have to tell Thank you very friends. much. See, we can do all that. We're looking for counseling at church. Hey, Ross, I have to do that. Oh, my Jesus. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What did I ever do I to this girl? Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Do you know what is the matter with you? I'm sorry. Why can't you concentrate for once? What? <laughs> what did I ever do to this girl? Just Madam, get out. Get, get out. Get out. Go and get, get, get the kitchen right. door. Okay, right. Get the kitchen. It's all this. It's, sorry. It's I, all this. It's all right. Just calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's all right. It's all right. My body. Um, I'll just take it easy. Our boss actually came to talk to you, but. Um, the two are together, so we'll talk later. Sorry, sorry. Oh my it's God. Right. It's alright. Are you sure there's something you're not telling me? Something like? I don't know, because I mean, this girl was okay before I, I left for the hospital. I came back from the hospital and she's, she's, she's a mess. She's all jittery and, and agitated. I don't know what is wrong. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? You should ask her. You know me. You brought her here. You should ask her. Maybe you, you sit down ask her if there's a problem. You are the woman. Why, why don't you talk to her one on one? I have right? asked her. She said there's no problem. You need to ask her. Maybe she's fed up with the job. You know, these girls, they can be very funny. A yes. Angel, Angel, please. Why, why are we quarreling over trivialities? Because it's becoming ridiculous. Oh, that's why. Well, and you're not doing anything about it. You're very silent. Angel, please. Well, yeah, I mean, she's not getting younger. Maybe she wants to go marry, you know? They have things. Well, that shouldn't be my business. It shouldn't no, but... Go. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, you, oh, no the, the world just keeps... Oh, no. You're going to lose it. No, I won't. <laughs> that, that idea, I told you. Wait, you're being, you're being greedy. No. Go, go for what? Oh, my God. Brother. I won't go. Hmm? Gina. Gina, what exactly is going on? And I did see my mom for dream. And for that dream, she did very, very sick. And my sister come they come in, make her come help them. And so I beg, I won't go. Gina, you did see your mama for dream. So you didn't call you that your mother is sick. Gina, you want to leave your work and go to the village because of a dream? What is wrong with you? Eh, is, is, is that what you want? You, you wanted to leave all this while you're giving us so much stress in the house. That's the reason why you have been misbehaving. Eh? At least you should have told us on time so that we would have organized for somebody else. Gina, what kind of behavior is this? I, I'm, I'm very disappointed in you. Why would you behave like this? Auntie, Auntie, I promise, if you know this serious, I'll come back. Gina. No, it's all right. The truth of the matter is, I might not be at work until, until she goes. Okay. Gina. Gina, what is it? It's all right. Here. Take the stepping house with her. Walk, walk something out. Thank you, What's going on? Ask her. She wants to leave. Uh, go. Go, 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 go. Now, are you getting her? Oh, but she have any use in this house. Ah, go. Go, 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 go. It's all right. Okay. Gina, I bid them call you from home. Tell you another person won't give you more money for work. 
You are insane. But what? Like what? Please stop acting as if you're begging her. Let her go. Let her go. Ah, we've been surviving before she came. Let her go. It's all right, calm down. Listen, I'll be doing all the chores in this house before you came, so you can go. Go. It's all right, Henry, calm down. Uh, you can leave now, okay? Safe journey. Eh, uh, bye bye, go. I'm a bit disappointed in you, Regina, eh? Bye bye. My daughter, welcome, my dear. Mm -hmm. How are you? Papa, I am. How are you? Hey, I'm glad to see you. You are now a full fledged graduate. <laughs> I expected you three days ago when I heard of the personal parade on radio. Papa, I'm sorry that I couldn't make it immediately. Oh. I had so much to do in town. Okay. Angela, who is the handsome man with you? Oh, that is Albert. Albert Ozzy. Hey. Welcome, my son. Thank you very much. Welcome, my son. Welcome, my dear. Please come in. Come yes. in, my son. Come in. Excuse me. Okay. His suit, my wedding dress, mm -hmm. everything we saw in the catalog, and all the jewels we're going to wear on that day. From Italy. From Italy? Yeah. Oh my god. And guess what? Remember that cheap white lace gown that you saw in the catalog mm -hmm. and you said you liked? Mm -hmm. He got it for you. You're not serious? Yeah. Look at it. Exactly the way you wanted. Are you kidding me, Alice? Oh my god! Oh my god! This is beautiful. Oh, thank That's you that. so much. Oh, thank you so much. I can't believe you got this for me. Oh, thank you. Um, I guess this is the right time to tell you. Tell me what? That I'll be. Um, Henry proposed to me. I'll be getting married before the end of this year. He did? I'm serious, yes, and I accepted. Yes, I, I accepted. What? You accepted? Why are you? Would you, how many times will you offend me? I mean, are we not supposed to discuss something of this nature before you accept or. Um, Angel, um, I'm really sorry, okay? I. I was so, I just carried away, I was so excited, so it skipped my mind. Look, would you... I just want you to be very careful. I mean, Henry could be very complicated, you don't even know the half of it. Look, would you, I don't want you to get hurt. I want you to be safe, I don't want you to regret anything. You need to be very sure. Alright, at least you have to the end of the year to really watch him and make up your, your mind, right? Yeah. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, does his brother know? No. And um, we wanted to come as a surprise to him. So please don't blow it, okay? Okay. I won't. Do you promise? I won't. I promise. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, this is just... You can have it in my Yeah. 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 That's a very, very nice choice of color. Yeah, thank It's you really good to come up nice on this thing. Yeah, trust me, I know, trust me, I know. We were matching shoes on that day. <laughs> oh, God, I'm looking so hot behind my brother. You better get one fine chief bridesmaid, though, because I'll be looking so smoking that day. Mm. <clears throat> yes, and I'll be standing behind my brother, you know, with the pastor right in front, you know, doing all the, the name of the 
Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit and then we part for better for worse you and all of that. You try and um, allow that to be said of you anytime soon. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> yeah, no, 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 yeah. no, in the nearest future, but not now. No, not now, <laughs> not now. Well, um, I have a surprise for you guys. Yeah. Ta-da! Ha! The wedding card is out. Have a look-see. Oh. It's out? Mm-hmm. Wow, it's beautiful. Thank you, and thank it's you. it's our color. I know. <laughs> what is it? What? I don't know, I've just been feeling really drowsy of late. You know? I feel, I feel like I'm going to throw up or I'm getting weak or... Something you ate? I don't know. I'm really, really oh. weak. Uh, um, yeah. Ross, I think you should take her to the hospital. You know your wedding is coming up for us. You're right. I, don't... I really don't think it's anything that serious. Uh, maybe I just, maybe I took something. Look, I second that. Look, let's go. I can't afford to take chances. I don't want complications mm. and stuff. Please, let's... I can't... Please, uh, let's, be, let's, be, let's be very sure. Let's be cautious. Let's go see my doctor. Yes. Now? Now, no. as in yesterday. Come oh, on. Guys, I think it's probably going to be serious. Don't worry. There is nothing will come very soon. That's much better. Serious. Oh, we know. Well, let's go. Let's go. I need to get my bag. Your bag. Um, she doesn't need a bag. We're very yeah. heavy. We can bring the bag. To... Let's go. Go for it. Go. Good news, Albert. What is it? Congratulations. Your wife, Angel, is eight weeks pregnant. What? You're pregnant. And what? Why the surprise? You should be expecting it. Um, alright. We've been very good friends right from our school days, and I don't know you as a clown. If this is a joke, it's a rather expensive one. Come on. How about the time you say joke? When you take your woman to bed, what do you expect? This isn't funny anymore. For God's sake, we've not even slept together. How about somebody here must be lying? <sighs> Definitely not me, because Angel is pregnant. Doctor, do you know what you're implying? You're practically saying that I have been cheating on my fiance? Doctor, I demand a retest. That test is definitely not valid. I did the test myself, and I know you are pregnant. And nothing can change it, not even a thousand of tests, in a thousand different hospitals. I did the test myself. You can check this. It's positive. She's pregnant. Oh, look, Rex, I, are you really sure? Doctor, I am 150% sure that that is not my result. I am not pregnant. I cannot be pregnant. I said I am not pregnant! A mystery is hard to understand, especially if it involves you when all this while you've been trying to live right. And all this time, you've been upright But then suddenly, something happens That casts serious doubts on your person You try to defend yourself, but no one believes you What do you do? Cause you feel so confused The oh, just shall be vindicated And the innocent shall oh. not be protected yeah. 
they have to tell me the truth. Look, if you tell me the truth, I'll forgive you. I mean, did you ever, you know, do it when I was asleep? I mean, maybe you were drunk. Think about that. Think. Just think about it. Because there is no one else out there. There is absolutely no one else. I am very sure of that. I'm so confused. So, so, so confused. If I didn't trust you, I would have been mad with you. I would have sent you away. And I trust you. I love you very much, Angel. I really do. There must be some kind of mystic somewhere. Exactly. How that we have to go and do another test. Let's go to another hospital and do this test. Let's go to my doctor. I am positive that there is a mistake somewhere. And maybe we shouldn't even be getting worked up because there's nothing. I can't wait for my doctor to prove that man wrong. sure about what you said then. I'm extremely sure there is no problem. Of course I'm sure I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't touch it. Yeah, sorry. I didn't touch it. <laughs> This is good news. Meaning? Um, Angel is positive. What do you mean by positive? I mean you're eight weeks pregnant. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> How is that possible? Alison, even you. What is going on? Angel, you surprised me. Are we not supposed to be celebrating? It's not possible. No. Come on, Angel, don't stand down. Come on, come on. Angel, Angel, calm down. You're pregnant. And bros, you're trying to tell me that you've not been touching her, not even by accident. No. Where is she now? I don't know. I left her at the hospital. I said it. I said it. I told you. I told you all, all these born again girls, they, they are so deceitful. You know, they, they can hide under that umbrella and do so much. But you wouldn't listen. I told you. I told you they can conceal so I am here to talk to you all now, so you better get up and talk to me. 
I told you that I have not slept with any man in the past two and a half years. And none of a sudden I fall pregnant when I start to sleep in your house. And you don't know who is responsible. How about I put it to you that you are responsible for this pregnancy. You are responsible for this pregnancy. Angelica. Angelica. Thank you God that I am such a patient man. And it's only because I love you very much. But if in the next 24 hours you don't give me an answer to this puzzle, I'll do what any man in my situation would do. But if you tell me the truth, I might even forgive you entirely. What truth? How about what truth do you want me to tell you? Are you accusing me? Are you saying that I slept with another man behind your back? Who the hell am I to accuse him if I'm so sure it wasn't? I'm not supposed to be on the show! I'm not supposed to be on the show! And I'm giving you 24 hours to turn the tide off. May God help you. This relationship is over! Excuse me! Now you just goofed now. Uh, you just missed up one, one lifetime opportunity. your angel's best friend so you probably know her better than any other person you know the situation on the ground angel is pregnant please i tell me what you know about angel okay i am confused as it is now because i am so cocksure that i did not have any sexual relations with angel i kept to her golden rule because i felt we we're going to be married very soon you understand my dilemma? Angel is also cocksure. She claims that nobody slept with her of her own free will, but she wasn't raped. You see why I'm confused? How would she get pregnant if she didn't sleep with a man? And that man definitely isn't me. So, you see why I'm confused? Um, listen, Albert. I, I am as confused as you are. I mean, Angel is a good girl. 
I am so surprised that all this is happening. Um, tell me, are you sure that um, you've not slept with her? Or maybe you slept with her under the influence of alcohol and you didn't even know it. Just, just, just maybe you should think, but just think back. Maybe something happened. Think back. Ojo, I am a very controlled person. I don't drink excessively. You, you see why I'm confused? You see where my confusion lies? How, how did she get pregnant? Because definitely she is. She must have slept with somebody. Oh, okay, Oju, please. Um, I know she's the best friend, so maybe you're trying to protect her, okay? But please, I just want to have my peace of mind. Tell me the truth. Because whatever you say now, whatever you don't say now, or you refuse not to say anything will not change anything because we are no longer an item. So please just tell me the truth. Is she, is she keeping an affair? Albert, I know that Angel has been faithful to you. How does she get pregnant? Because she definitely is. Don't you see the puzzle there? Solve it for me, please. You understand what I'm saying now? I, um, I, I know that um, she's very close to this guy called Johnny. They go for vigils together and um, for church services together. But I don't think they had any sexual re relationship of, of any kind. Go Wait, hold, hold. Johnny, could it be the same Johnny that my brother and I met the day we came to the hospital to see Angel? Um, I think so. But all I know is that they go for videos together and church fellowships. But I don't think they had any sexual relationship of any kind. Could it be Johnny? No. no I don't think so. Please, I'm begging you, God Almighty, please help me beg out, but help me beg out, but let me be a little bit more patient with me, kids. I don't know what is going on. My brother is even cool, though. If it were to be me, I would have acted now, you know me. Look, what you did was shameful. It's an abomination. And what's the... You are lying. I am. You lying. are lying. I am. You are not lying. lying. You are lying. Only the truth can save me now. Uh, what is done to you? Uh, John? Who is John? Your copper friend. You mean Johnny? Johnny is my, my, my friend, my copper friend. He's my brother from fellowship. He's my close friend. And John, why are you still lying to me? I am not lying! You're I'm not lying! lying. It's all right. Get out of my house and stay out until you're ready to tell me the truth. Oh. Get out of my house! Mama, please don't do this. Please. And John, get out of my house and you're tired of your life! Get out of my house! Oh, what is going on? What is it? How, how can one get pregnant without having sexual relations with a man? She and Mary of our time. I'm going to kill myself. I swear to God, I'm going to kill myself. Maybe if I end this whole thing, maybe then you will believe me. What do I have to say to convince you? What? Hey, Angel, just calm down. Just calm down. Calm down. Okay, I'll accept responsibility. Only if you keep the knife away. That is not good enough, Albert. How about I love you? And I always stand by you. Why can't you do this? Just one thing I ask of you, just to stop me in this trying time. Why can't you do it? I don't know anything about this thing. Calm down. Calm down. I will accept responsibility, okay? You don't need to do this. <laughs> Who will care for the baby when it's born? Who? Just give me the knife. Please. Please. <laughs> Don't do this. You don't. You don't. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Let go. Let go. Come on. Let go. Let go. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. It's alright. Right. Right. It's okay. Look, like I said, I'll accept responsibility. But only on one condition. Your parents 
must be aware of what happened. No, I don't want my parents to be aware. I don't want my parents to know I beg you, please. I want to have this baby. When I'm married, I don't want to have a baby outside wedlock. And I don't want them to know that I'm pregnant outside wedlock, please. It, it, it's alright, it's alright. But I know that your parents are mature people and they will understand. I don't want them to know! Oh, calm down. It's alright, calm down. Calm down. Like I said, I will accept responsibility. If after delivery we do the paternity test and it's still mine, fine. Fine. I'll accept it. And if it's not? Then we'll have to go our separate ways without raising dust. That way we'll save our faces. So the wedding? It will still hold. No, wait, 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 excuse me, excuse me. Bros, do you know what you're saying? I mean, are you still continuing with this wedding, with this whore? Don't say that again, okay? She's not a whore. She is my responsibility, exclusively mine. Okay? I can't believe I'm hearing this. Welcome, my daughter. Mm -hmm. How are you? Fine, thank you. Welcome, my How dear. How are you, Mama? Albert. Thank you. Albert. Albert. Yeah, welcome, Albert. Thank you very much. Welcome, my son. Thank you, Ma. Um, Mazi, okay. Um, when I came for the introduction and payment of Angel's salary, did I strike you as irresponsible? No. Did I show it to you that I was bent on exploiting your daughter? No. Mazi, your daughter here has disgraced me. Your daughter has disappointed me and my entire family. Angel is fake. The gold has suddenly turned to brass. Oh, just, just shut up and let me finish, okay? You think I'm a fool? You think I'm a fool? Mazi, your daughter told me that she would not allow me to sleep with her until we get married. I agree totally. In other words, we have never slept in the same room, not to talk of the same bed. We have never slept in the same room. Never! Albert, oh, just shut up and let me finish! You think I would allow you to kill yourself in my house? You think I'm that much of a fool? Mazi, do you know that while I was planning B for your daughter here, my fiancé, Still keeping to her demands. She was busy having an affair behind my back. Mbano, Mbano, my daughter cannot do that. Mama, Angel here is eight weeks pregnant. Ooh. Angela! But that is not in our blood, Angela. From where did you learn that? Angela! Eh? Angela, did you do that? Papa, it is true, but I don't know where the pregnancy came from. If he's not the one that impregnated me, then, then who did? Oh, you are asking me. Not only did you commit an abominable act, but you are telling a lie. And they want me to believe that you don't know the man who is responsible for the pregnancy. You're an idiot. Uh, Mazi, 
I took the pains of bringing back your daughter to you in one piece. From now on, I will not be responsible for her whereabouts. I am forfeiting all I spent on her, her dowry inclusive. But what I will not bear is to see Angel anywhere near my house. Warn her. Warn her. What will I tell my fellow women? What of my church members say? Hey! I'm ashamed of you, Angela. Angela. How do you think the man will keep a pregnancy that is not his? Huh? Papa, enough. Enough, Mama, enough. Enough. <laughs> I am not a fool. What will I gain by hiding the man who is responsible for my pregnancy? What will I gain? Until I get into the house, I will take care of you. Stop that. That's how you spot her. Let her go. And mind you, I don't want any bastard into the house. Angela, I said get into the house. Where do you think you are going to? I'm a working class grandma, and I can take care of myself and this baby. Without Albert, I can do that. But one thing is for sure, Albert will give account of this pregnancy. And I'm very sorry. I never meant to bring shame upon you. You try to defend yourself, but no one believes you. What do you do? Cause you so confused oh. Just shall be vindicated And the innocent shall be protected It might take some time to... Listen, Ross, if you had brought that girl in here, I would have killed her myself. You better start shutting me your mind because I am here now. What do you want here? I warned you didn't I? What do you want? Albert, what do I want? Albert, I have only slept in this house, so there is no way I would get pregnant from elsewhere. I've only slept here! So you think you can go out there, get bloated up and expect me to nurse another man's pregnancy? It is not another man's pregnancy. And I demand the protection of this pregnancy until it is proven otherwise. I am going nowhere! Hey, 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 enough, enough, enough of all these jokes. Enough, enough. Listen here. Yeah. My brother here needs a decent and nice girl and not some unrepentant lion slot, okay? Yes, and you should be doing better in some kind of brothel rather than deceiving an unsuspecting gentleman like my brother. Grace, so right. Stop it. 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 It's okay, just calm down. Oh, the grace! Just calm down. Girl, 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 it's alright. Get out of here. Sure, go, sure. Plus, let this girl talk. Let this girl go. Uh, girl, bounce. Go, 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 go. It's alright. Let her go now. Go, go. Just calm down. Oh, She's wasting too much time. Let her go. She's going, she's going. <laughs> As you get out now, you're wasting too much time. Go, go, go. What kind of slow motion movement is this one now?
What you can they do for her? So they call you since you no know answer. But they clean house. I no send you that one. I beg. Come see market where you go sell for me. I beg. I no want no nonsense. I no just want nonsense. Carry this market go sell. And if you no sell and finish, no bother to come back to this house. I go try. You go waiting. You go try. That one no concern me. If you like, go expressway. Carry mat. Go lie down there. No sleep. You just sleep. Make no sell. But my own be say you no go come back here with this market. Until I say I go try, but my find something chop first. Come here! Find what in chop. Eh? So that means if I not get this house, you go enter my kitchen, collect food, chop, before you go sell market for me. Until I never chop since morning. Come and shut up your mouth. How this house take resemble that rich man house where you live? Where are they chop, chop the fry, fry before I go work for money? Eh? Come on, carry this thing, go sell for me. It's nice. I never shout. I think I'm licensed to chop for person house. If you the worker like Christmas, no throw market for me, oh. I don't tell you finish. If you don't sell and finish, no come back to this house. Caro, what has this girl done to you? Why do you hate her so much? Why do I hate her? Why do I hate who? Peter, I think God beg you. Let me manage this house as the wife where I be. You they hear me now? As long as you know arrange with me, go bring your sister Conley for this house. You go let them. Make sure you do everything what I tell her. Make sure you do for this house for me. You they hear me? If you want peace, oh, I don't they tell you now. Ah. Which one? Which can one of this?
sir. Good evening. What, what happened? I bought banana from her. The money I paid her fell under the car. While she tried to bring out the money, I moved the car and the tires climbed her leg. Where my banana? Where my banana money? What kind of woman are you? So your banana money is, is more important than her life. This is heartless of you. I will face your front. I said, give my money. Caro. Caro, you feel good as I do. Why are you so impossible? Impowating. Impowating, now they ask you. Professor of grammar. Oh, now speak another one, I'll clap for you. Okay, sir. I think this will help finish her treatment and to make up for the days that she will not sell. I'm very sorry, sir. Thank you very much, my brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I came to apologize for Henry's physical attack on you. I want you to forgive us, Henry, but any man would have done same or worse. I want to pay for your treatment. You want to pay for my treatment? Yes. I see. Are you going to pay for my lost baby too? Are you, Albert? Albert, we are talking about murder here and you want to pay for my hospital bills. Tell me, did that child not deserve to leave? I don't know who owns that child, but that child certainly did not deserve to be aborted and definitely not in the hands of a beast like Harry. And then you walk up to me and have the F1 to tell me you want to pay for my hospital bills. Tell me, if I allowed you to pay for my hospital bills right now, but what will happen to me? I'm asking you, what will happen to me after this moment? Well, um, I just want to make sure you're well first. You know, I did not expect that you were going to say anything more intelligent. Look, Angel. I'm about to get out. Just get out! I said, get out of my sight right now! Calm down, calm down. Get out of my sight! Get out! Get out! Get out! I don't want to see him get out! I don't want to see him! I don't want to see anybody from his family. I don't want to see anybody. I didn't know. Imagine him asking. Maybe could pay my husband to be. It's okay, calm down. It's not all he can do. Am I suffering? Is money my problem? before you, Albert. Simply because you are rich, you will think you can destroy my daughter and get away with it. This has got nothing to do with riches. I want Angel before you to stay away from me forever, but no. She barged into my house with stupid accusations. Yeah, and that is enough to kill her baby and almost kill her. Kill me, Albert. Kill me. Ah, kill me. Kill me. Sit, Mama. Stop this. Let me. Don't dare touch me. Who is your mama? How could I be your mama? Oh, a mother of a beast like you? I understand you are Mike Tyson. Finish your job. Don't kill me. 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 Don't kill
this. Let me remind both of you that this is my house. Now I want both of you to leave my house before I call the police. I don't want to have anything to do with, with parents of a liar and a harlot. Hey, Albert, you call my daughter a harlot? You, you that were on your knees before me, asking for my daughter's hand in marriage. You even had the guts to order us out of your house. Why my daughter is critically ill. Albert, okay. We shall see. Julie, that I know. That I know happened. We shall see. for the services. Hmm. The wedding has been called off. I don't want any more unfavorable attention. Angel, but you have just lost the baby. Look, we should thank God your body is still intact. Forget the past and face the future. It's not the end of the world after all. Alison, words cannot express how grateful I am for all that you have done for me. I am eternally grateful to you. It's okay, all right? Thank you very much. I want you to be happy again. In case you don't want to stay with Uju to avoid bumping into Henry, you can come stay with me. Okay. The house is big enough. It can accommodate the two of us. It will never come to that. I mean, would you understand perfectly what I'm going to? She's my best friend, so I'm sure she will never jeopardize my feelings. So it's okay. It's okay, all right. But you can call me up anytime you need my help. Anytime. All right. <laughs> disappointed in me. But believe me, I am even more disappointed in myself. If anything would cross your mind, would you at least let it be that probably I am innocent? Because believe me, would you, I don't know how I got pregnant. Believe me. I want you to believe that, right? Innocent or not, the deed has been done. The wedding has been called off. The entire dream battered. It's back to square one, naive. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Tell this man to leave this house right now. Tell him to leave this house right now. I want him to leave this house right now. Angel, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I mean, do you realize that Henry is my boyfriend? Oh. You want to destroy my relationship the way you destroyed yours, right? Besides, you? Right. you forget that this is my house and not yours. You're a squatter. And you remain that as long as you are in this house. I hope I made myself clear. Yes. Would you? Has it come to this? Ah,
I, I can't take it seriously anymore because you're always joking. No, believe you me, you can't get there. I'm no, 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 man, it's I'm so. I mean, you can't get that. Angel, I mean, why are you going to? I am leaving your house, Ojo. But I didn't ask you to leave. You no, know, you didn't. Yes. But you implied it. Ojo. I don't want to be under the same roof with you and this killer. I don't want to destroy your relationship like I have destroyed mine. Thank you very much for everything, Uju. But I know that in due season, my God will vindicate me. Thank you very much. Babe, sit down. Angel, you don't have any right to Darling, that. I know sit it. down. Sit down. Please sit. In fact, come here. Come here. Come. She called your man a killer. Do you understand that? Yeah, but... Look, forget about that. Now to the cause of the matter. Okay? Listen, I said we can make it. You and me. For real. Hey, Dr. Rex. From all you've told me, this defies medical interpretation. It's obvious that a woman cannot get pregnant without having sexual intercourse with a man. But Angel could have done better. <sighs> Dr. Rex, what baffles me is that innocent denial. She wasn't faking it, she meant it. And you know, Angel is a very natural woman. I doubt if anyone could be that stubborn. She even slapped Henry for calling her names. That caused the beating. Angelica must be a puzzle. I suspect if I'll blow her. Dr. Vex, I don't know what to think. The way it is now, my mind is split 50 50. I don't know, but something tells me that there is more to this thing than meets the ordinary eye. I imagine my disappointment. After investing so heavily on Angelica emotionally, it's, it's like I'm under a spell. I'm, I'm neither here nor there. I'm just confused. How about advice? You take your minds off all this. The consequences of hypertension and stroke are dead scary. You get busy with work and spend more time with friends. That's my advice. Well, it's all right, Dr. Rex. I'll, I'll try and do that. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I'll call you. I am really, really impressed. And really, your attitude to work is quite commendable. Your department has flourished on you. I, I always knew you had it in you. All you needed to do was to sit and be focused. <laughs> you were just being the juvenile delinquent. <laughs> anyway, um, that's beside the point. Henry. I am aware of your strong and intimate relationship with Uju. For me, I have not yet made up my mind to get involved with another woman. It's a personal decision. But I would not want this to stand in your way of, or rather, it would be most unfair of me to keep you waiting unnecessary. What I am trying to say is um, we, we are brothers. You have my permission to go ahead and marry you. I will sponsor the wedding, every arrangement, from the least to the most. In fact, even your... Okay, choose any country you want for your honeymoon. I'll pay the expenses, okay?
to me. What is the matter? What, what is wrong with you? Talk to me. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not comfortable. I'm not comfortable now. Talk to me. What is it now? Just guess. Guess. I can't guess. I can't. No, no, no. Go ahead, guess. You have to guess this one now. Just go ahead and guess. Sweetheart, I cannot guess. Okay, please talk to me. What is it? What? Why are you doing this to me now? Why? Talk to me now. Why? What is it? Can you just imagine? Imagine. Imagine that you would die. Yeah. Yeah. You would. You would die. Yes. Yes. Imagine you. You. Yes. I'm not now. You would die. Yes. Yes. Can you just imagine you and I getting married? You know, like, married? Are you, are you, are you serious? Married? Yeah, man. Are you serious? Married, married. You know, you and me, we get married together. You and me, we get married. Are you serious? Are you married? Yes, we get married, baby. <laughs> you got food, you know, you got food there, right? Oh, you got food, why? Why? Come on, man. You know I don't have to go oh. the same way other men do. You know that, don't you? Are you serious? Of I am serious. Oh, darling. Oh, I love you. Yeah, you can start making plans from plan A uh -huh. to plan infinity. <laughs> you should understand. Oh, my God. I love you, baby. I love you, too. I love you, too. <laughs> It's alright. It's okay. I mean, you can send her an invitation card. It's okay. Hey. I see. Yeah. Come on. I mean, you know, without due respect, yes, she's a good girl, but um, she was only deceitful. It's okay. Send her a card. It's okay. Of course, oh I am serious. Thank you so much. Yeah. I'm sorry for the picture for the wedding. Okay. Um, what's um band stand? Band stand. So which is hotter right now? You know what? Let's start with color. All right. Um, say the receptionist and come back and check uh, in the next two days, okay? Thank you. Man. All right. Hello. Send in the next stop. Can I make it fast, okay? Auntie. Hey. Gina. Auntie, good morning. Good morning. Gina, you talk say so you did go village, say so you will come back. Why you not come back? Auntie, I know if you come back to the house again. Gina, why you not go fit come back home the house? You talk say so you did go village, say if nothing happened to your mama, you go come back. And you don't do this now, now you walk up and then they find work. Why you not come back home house and you don't say you go get work? Eh? Gina? Auntie, na long story. Na very long story, Auntie. Hey, Auntie, what of Brother Albert? Brother Albert, is Brother Albert okay? And you know, me and your Brother Albert, we're not, we're not here together again. Hey, I'm Brother Albert, my nice man. Mm. Hey, yeah. Um, Gina. I still won't know why you know, won't come back on the house. Because I don't understand what you want. Eh? And you call the work up and now they apply for a work of cleaner. When you lose it, if you come house, they will employ you back. Why? Gina, how do you behave like that? Auntie Nada Devil. Which devil? Brother Henry. What's in Brother Henry do you? Auntie, you remember that day where you, where you fall confident? Mm hmm. Eh? Madame, don't die! Okay. 
Madam, Madam, just for break her head. Eh? Now I say, I'm going to go for the tide of bed. Come on, I'm going to go. Two people. Hey, this one will go no day. Madam, 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 Madam. As I come back, I think. What am I saying? I don't believe her. To God, but I is saying, Go kill me. Say, Go kill me if I tell anybody. Cause me and you go about you. We'll take separate with that. Hey! Who be that? My former madam, Auntie Angel. Mm. She saying she and Bodalbat no marry again. 
and that woman done to so far kind upon all the things we didn't do. Okay, eh? you know, I never tell you it to make me come up for that house. Yes. Okay. One day I did kitchen. Now my just say, Madame, shout. Now my rock come up for kitchen. Go and Madame, they see Madame for ground. Ah. And my organ no day. No leave me and bother her every day. But then he can't say, go find moto. Now my say, okay, I can't run, go find moto. As I said, go, now my see get man. You see, I see him be man. Me be woman. Say, go fast past me. Now I might say, okay. I can't say, my run, go back house. As I reach house. See, but then early, on top of my dad. Ah. In fact, eh, what in my eyes see? My mouth no fit talker. I call they try, 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 try to tell my oga, oga about. But then he just they tell me say, if I try, I say go kill me. Even get one day carry knife put for my neck, uncle. Ah. Say go kill me if I talk anything. Ha. Ah. What thing I go do? Even the money where I use come this house. Now, but then he, just give me the money. Say if I no want me to carry my dead body, my go back to my village. Oh. Now make me come out to no one wahala. Now I meet myself here, so... Ah! One that shall never end. Oh. That boy needs deliverance. Serious deliverance! So... Now what you go, go, you go come do now? Yeah, my mother be say... Make I fall and go house back. She be good woman, but... Uh, what am I see that time? But I mean, I don't fit to... I tell her, I don't go fit come. I know of it, Uncle. Well, if not so you want them, uh, may God bless you, help you. Amio. And the innocent shall be protected. I really thought you were too ashamed to admit your unfaithfulness. <laughs> you are justified in your thinking, Alison. I mean, I never gave you any reasonable explanation, right? Mm. I can understand why you thought so. Henry, I've always known that that guy was slimy, but I never thought in my wildest dreams that he could go to this extent. Alison, I just hope this guy has not infected me. I need a comprehensive test, don't I? I think you do, my dear. I think you do. So what are you going to do now? You know, the wedding is next week. But come to think of it, how could would you do a thing like this? How could she choose Henry over you, her best friend? How could she do a thing like that? Such is life. Oh, you? How could she? How could she let me out of the house, not knowing where I would lay my head next? Honestly, I'm surprised. I must tell you. How could? Would you choose Henry over me, knowing fully well that he hurt my feelings? How could would you choose Henry, knowing fully well that he caused me to lose my pregnancy? How? Hmm. Alison, um, sorry, hurry, go. Sorry, Reverend. We'll, we'll be in church very soon. Thank you. Thank you. Henry! Henry! Be quick! We're already late. The Reverend just phoned. Awesome. Come in. Come in. Hey. You look good. Thank you. That's my gift, brother. <laughs> My name is Inspector Joshua from the state CID. You're under arrest for rape and assault on Miss Angelica. Angel, is this some kind of sick joke or what? It is not some kind of sick joke, Albert. Henry raped me. The day I fell and hit my head and fainted, 
he raped me and that was the source of the pregnancy. Or are you trying to deny that? Well, well, what's the meaning of this? Can you prove this? If I can prove this, yes, I can prove this. Gina! Gina! Come. Hold your breath. In case you're trying to intimidate her, she recorded it, okay? Yeah. Just one hour, 
you will have bear his name. He does not deserve you, Uchi. He does not. You got carried away and all that, but he was just not worth it. It's okay. I'm sorry too. It's okay. But then suddenly The money where Brassi may give me, the 200 For waiting And so he's going to go find work Hey, <laughs> you won't go find work Hey, no problem Go ask your uncle for me. Say, she ain't give me money. He ain't give me any money to keep for her. Ask him. Auntie, I beg now. Auntie. Who should be your own now? Who should be a beg, I beg, I beg? Eh? Happy kiss, you go back, idiot. Fine. At a fine job. I see that paper. You go to school? Yes. You pass where where? Yes. Uh, I can say you go see my organa. Thank you. I'm very disappointed in you, Miss Gina. A grown-up like you cannot speak good English. How can I communicate with you in the presence of my guest? You are not sharp at all. Totally inexperienced. Take, you can go. I said you can go. I'm not going to go anywhere. I'm not going to go anywhere. How inexperienced person, figure experience, if nobody go teach him, I don't think go anywhere. Okay? Are you challenging me? No, no. I can't think. I know they challenge you. I used to go beg your girl. I don't think go back to the house again. Okay? I don't go through too many while I for my tea hand. I don't even see her face again, okay? I used to go thank you. Just try me, your girl. I promise you, I'm gonna learn fast. I'm <laughs> not even ready. Any amount you pay me, I go do. Um, any amount I pay, I beg, your girl. Make I just a sleep here, your girl. You just go beg, you I beg. <laughs> I beg. It's okay, Miss Gina. I'm just pulling your legs. I'm just testing your fighting spirit. The job is yours. Huh? You can start whenever you wish. Oh God, thank you. you. Oh God, thank you, so God, thank you. Oh God, bless you, bless you, bless you. Ah, oh, thank you, so God, thank you. Hey. Oh, thank you, Oga. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, uh, the job is yours. Thank you, sir. You can start anytime you wish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, you have a very good result. Would you still like to go to school? Yes, 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 Oga. Um, 
I be won't continue, but no money. I will pay you fifteen thousand every month. Hey. Uh, that is besides your feeding and accommodation. And I guess that will take care of your private lesson that will prepare you for your job. Oga, thank you. Is that okay? Oga, God will bless you. God will bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you. Oga, thank you. So, um, Stevie will open the boy's cutter for you. Hmm? Inside town, and I go start tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Ah, oh, God, I thank you. Thank God. Oh. Yeah. Eh? Thank God. Oh. Ha! Hey, walk. Thank God. Oh. Sure. So now, which one come because bring this kind of Eh? Wait till they generate like the moon come from heaven, fall down for this place. You get work. Not the ordinary house get work you get. She na bank, I be now a company. I'm not going to hear what from you. See, since you don't decide to leave this banana where you decide for me, come go get to your work. Make you ready, say, that salad where they're going to pay you, you're going to bring a con this house. Now you will go to the chop. Caro, organ. What is your problem? I don't get a problem. I don't get it. Every time I'm going to seek you, seek you to do meeting for me. No, you don't, you don't mind her. Ah. Congratulations. Nothing wrong. On the contrary, I was enjoying your song and dance. I like the way you approach your job with so much passion. Thank you, sir. And I wish you can put in such effort in your studies. I will try my best, sir. Keep it up while I wait for your job result. Hmm? Yes, sir. I don't want any stories. Yes, sir. Maybe I'll hurry up and uh, prepare my meal for me. Yes, sir. A mystery 
It's hard to understand. But that, but I made it. I made it. My jam result. Especially if it involves you. Two seventy-five. Yes, brother. Beautiful. Beautiful. To leave right You're here for love. Yes, brother. And all this time. Congratulations, Jean. Thank you very much, brother. You made it. But then suddenly. I'm proud of you, Jean. Something happened. You try to defend yourself, but no one believes you. What do you do? Cause you feel so confused. Oh, shall be vindicated, and the innocent shall be protected. Take it off your fingers of that car. Take out that way. What do you think you're doing? Look, you remain disowned. I don't want to have anything to do with you again, okay? I managed to bail you because I don't want your scandal trailing my hard-head reputation or my name. So get out of this place. Abros, please. Abros, who is your brother? You forgot you had a brother when you took advantage of my fiancé? Humiliated and why you pretended to be innocent? To the best of my knowledge, I don't have a brother. I can't have a brother who is a rapist, a liar and a cheat. And if you cherish your life, I don't want to see you near any of my property, be it the, the house or the factories. Because if you do, I will personally kill and bury you and nothing, nothing will happen, okay? Nothing. Get, 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 get. But then suddenly something happens that has serious doubts on your person. You try to defend yourself. But no one believes you What do you do? Cause you feel so confused oh. Just shall be vindicated And the innocent shall be protected It might take some time take some time But in time I know that you're very disappointed in me. But believe me, I am even more disappointed in myself. If anything would cross your mind, would you at least let it be that probably I am innocent? Because believe me, Uju, I don't know how I got pregnant. Believe me. And you want me to believe that, right? Innocent or not, the deed has been done. The wedding has been called off. The entire dream battered. It's back to square one, naive. <laughs> oh my god. What's this? What's this? What's this? Stop it! What's this? Angel, stop it! What's this? Stop it! What is wrong with you? Are, are you crazy? Tell this man to leave this house right now. Tell him to leave this house right now. I want him to leave this house right now. Angel, are you crazy? Are you crazy? I mean, do you realize that Henry is my boyfriend? Oh, you want to destroy my relationship the way you destroyed yours, right? Besides, you? you forget that this is my house and not yours. You're a squatter and you remain that as long as you're in this house. I hope I made myself clear. Yes. Would you? Has he come to this? Ah,
I, I can't take it seriously anymore because you're always joking. No, believe you me, we can't get there. No, no, I'm sorry. Believe me, we can't get there. Angel, you can't get there. Angel, I'm sorry. Angel, I mean, why are you going to? I am leaving your house, Ojo. But I didn't ask you to leave. You no, know, you didn't. Yes. But you implied it. Ojo. I don't want to be under the same roof with you and this killer. I don't want to destroy your relationship like I have destroyed mine. Thank you very much for everything, Uju. But I know that in due season, my God will vindicate me. Thank you very much. Babe, sit down. Angel, you don't have anywhere to Darling, go. Darling, just I know sit it. down. Sit down. Please sit. In fact, come here. Come here. She called your man a killer. Do you understand that? Yeah, but... Look, forget about that. Now it's the cause of the matter. Okay? Listen, I said we can make it. You and me. For real. Sorry for all the grief I've caused you. I'm sorry, truly. Apology accepted. You can now leave. Darling, please, I beg you for the sake of love, I beg you, please. You're my only hope right now. I'm, I'm, I'm homeless. My, my, my brother has disowned Henry. me. Harry, you sure do have gods. You almost led me into a shameful marriage. And you still have the infantry to ask me for shelter. Do you realize the shame you've cost me? Do you realize what I've gone through? Henry, you raped an unconscious girl. I'm sure you can make love to a dead woman. Henry, you are a beast. You are the devil himself. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. No matter how long it takes, it's a big mistake to offend the innocent and the righteous. Don't worry, cause the just shall be vindicated. Shall be vindicated. And the innocent shall be protected. Be protected. It might take some time. It might take some time. But in time, but in time, the truth shall set you free. Shall set you free. And you'll be free indeed. Oh, you'll be free indeed. You'll be free indeed. Yeah, you'll be free indeed. Cause, cause, cause the job shall be vindicated. Shall be vindicated. And yes, and Shall be protected. Shall be protected. It might yeah, take some time. It might take some time. But in time, but in time, the truth shall set you free. And you'll be free. You'll be free indeed. You said you'll be free. Shall be protected. Shall be 
protected. She's deliberately not taking her course. But in time, but in time, the truth shall set you free. And you'll be free indeed. You'll show you free indeed. You'll be free indeed. Say that you'll be free indeed. You'll be free indeed. Shall be vindicated. Vindicated. Alison, I am truly sorry. I really am. I'm only human. And I did what I thought was honorable in the circumstance. Please just, just help me talk to her. She's your friend. She listens to you. Albert, I feel your sentiments. And I understand the pressure on you at that time. I've spoken to her. But she would not entertain any kind of intrusion. She is very, very bitter. We are even lucky she was not infested by that beast you call a brother. Oh, but I advise you let her vent her anger. For now, I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you. Alison, she is your friend. You know her very well. Won't you at least try to talk to her again? What do you want from her anyway? Eh? Do you think Angel will ever be emotionally settled as long as she sees Henry, your brother? Please, Albert, I have patience to attend to. If you don't mind. Thank you for at least listening to me. Need your help. What's the matter? Why the urgency in your call? Is it Henry again? It's Angel. I thought you called a quit. Yes, I did, and you know why. But Auntie, Angel is innocent after all. You put her in a family way and kicked her out? I didn't. Henry did. Henry did what? Henry took advantage of her the day she fell down and fainted. He had sex with Angel in her unconscious state. Holy Virgin Mary. And how did you find out? Look, Auntie, that's a long story. What matters to me now is to get Angel back. Albert, you offended me. I warned you against kicking her out after you told me what happened. But you did your wish. Auntie, there was no other thing I could have done in the circumstance. Anyway, if you want her back, go to her or to her wounded parents. Auntie, I have done all that without success. Something tells me that you're the only one who would help me clean up this mess. She listens to you. So reckless. The innocent girl must have suffered. I abandoned her thinking that she was guilty as judged. Have to talk to her. Auntie, thank you very much. Thank you. I knew you would do it for me. Thank you. Thank you. What about that idiot, Harry? I don't want to talk about him. I guess it, I don't know. Maybe he's loitering around the street somewhere. I, I don't want to talk about him. Auntie, I have disowned him outrightly. And, and no, Auntie, listen to me. And I will personally kill him if he ventures into my compound or any of my other property. Albert, you couldn't have done a thing like that without telling me. No matter how you see it, he is still your blood brother. And disowning him will not solve the problem for God's sake.
However, first thing first. Let her in. Forgive me for defending you. Please, my dear. Forgive him. Please. Until I have no problems with anybody. Actually, I have forgiven everybody. Really, I just want to move on with my life now. I am okay. Angel, you are not okay. Albert wants you back. Please. Albert wants me back. Yes. Auntie, do you know the humiliation and embarrassment I went through in the hands of those two? Albert and Henry. Auntie, do you... Auntie, I respect you a lot. You know what? I cannot go back to Albert. No, I will not go back to Albert. Angel, Albert called me into this. Believing I'm the only person that will break the barrier. Angel, remember, Albert never gave a finger on you. If he stayed in the hospital, Albert is in a kind of hopeless dilemma. He's going down each day just because of you, for the love he has for you. Please, my dear, forgive him. He loves you. Prove me wrong, Angel. Please. He wants you back. Albert has come back to his senses. He wants you. He needs you. He cared for you. Please, my dear. At least for my sake. It's hard to understand Especially If it involves you When all this while You've been trying to live right And all this time You've been all right Look at yourself See what you did to yourself With all the riches around you you dashed the trust and betrayed your only brother. The only person that meant everything to you, Harry. Where are all your friends? The ones you drink and club with. They shouldn't have allowed you to be homeless. You wanted a harsh experience. And now you have learned. And I hope you are finding it interesting. Swine. Anum pam. Auntie, I said I'm sorry now. Auntie, Auntie, Auntie Out of my Auntie, way! Will you really shut up? Shut up! You are lucky to be alive. Eh? Imagine the dastardly act against an innocent girl. Your wild loss, Albert, has been warning you against. Now, go to Angel and apologize to her. Plead for her mercy. Henry. You killed her child. Your own child. Just pray that God will not demand for a replacement when you get married. Knowing that you are the cause of your childlessness. Auntie, you don't have to curse me too now. I, I said I, 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 I'm sorry. I'll apologize to Angel, but I know she will Go and apologize to Angel. And don't come back here to tell me stories. 
Cause the wicked cannot go unpunished When you offend the innocent or the righteous Oh, it cannot go unpunished No matter how long it takes It's a big mistake to offend the innocent and the righteous Don't worry cause The just shall be vindicated, shall be vindicated And the innocent shall be protected Be protected It might take some time It might take some time Forgiven Henry. In fact, I have forgiven your entire family. But I, but I beg you, I beg you in God's name, please let sleeping dogs lie. Ah, oh, but please let me move on with my life. Please. You want to move on with your life? I don't have a life without you. My life is ended without you. Drive a knife through me and let's end it all. Because my heart cannot withstand another loss. How about you have already lost me? You pushed me away, Albert. You have already lost me. No, Benja. I lost my former wife through no fault of mine. But for you, Whatever it takes, I'll do anything to right all my wrongs. I'm sorry. 
This is a dream come true. Thank you. You made me, Eric. You and you alone. Gina, God used me to achieve your dream. But who am I? Who am I to deserve this? Any other person could have done it. Presumptuous Eric. <laughs> no one would have done it if not you. Thank you very much. I'm so grateful. I'm happy for you. Thank you. Oh, nice. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I chose to see you first before any other person. Thank you. And I promise I'll always check on you from time to time. Thank you. Any time, any day. Thank you. Now I'm a lawyer. And it's time to move into the world for greener pastures. <sighs> but before I go, is there anything I can do for you? Maybe wash your clothes? Tidy up the environment? Anything whatsoever?
Yes. There is one thing I would wish you'd do for me. Anything. Marry me. What did you just say? Be my wife. That is why I invested in you. You mean you prepared me for a day like this? Come on, Eric, that was too risky. Supposing I had met someone else before you proposed. Then you were not made for me. to marry you, Eric. You are my hero. Yes, I will. Oh, thank you. <laughs> now, I'm hungry. So yeah. can we go get something to it? <laughs> thank you very much. Garo beat off the ear of a customer? Yes, Gina. And the woman in question is connected to a very rich young man who vowed that Carol must pay for her act. Meanwhile, as I speak to you now, this case has been delayed for six months. What? And she has been suffering on a cell. That's serious. As it is, judgment will be passed next week. I have tried my but this man said that Carol must go to jail. There's an opportunity for you to get married again. So why they'll give you kids? What? Um, meanwhile, who is this man that's related to the victim? I think I wrote his name somewhere. L let me look for it. Okay. Eric Johnson? Uncle, this is the man. Which man? The man that helped me. The man I worked for. Uncle, I even came to give you the good news. He proposed to marry me and I said it. Really? Yes, Uncle. What a small word. Am I? <laughs> As it stands now, you are the only one to serve Carol. God forbid, Uncle. I don't want to get involved in Carol's case. She's a devil, and the almighty God is paying her back in her own coins. She needs to suffer. She deserves to be punished. No, 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 Jenna. You need to see Carol now. She has torn an image of herself. She has even turned born again in cell. Please have mercy. Please, just for my sake. No matter how long it takes, it's a big mistake to offend The innocent and the righteous Don't worry, cause The just shall be vindicated The innocent shall be 
Hard to understand, especially if it involves you. When all this while you've been trying to live right, and all this time you've been upright, but then suddenly something happens that casts serious doubts. On your person, you try to defend yourself, but no one believes you. What do you do? 'Cause you feel so confused. The oh. just shall be vindicated, and the innocent shall be protected. 